Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse first look video at the new Selinko rackets. Now I have two models here in my hand. I have the Blackout 300 and the Whiteout 305. Now the Blackout's uh, target spec is 300 grams unstrung. It's a 100 square inch racket with a 1619 string pattern. And then the Whiteout is uh, more of a, a player's beam design with a 305 gram target unstrung spec, 98 square inch head size, and again, a 1619 string pattern. And Michelle and I have had these two rackets out on the court with a bunch of other play testers, but it's us two that are giving you our opinions on these today. Now I've hit these rackets a ton, um, but even from the first hit, my opinion of them has remained pretty solid. So I kind of got through that honeymoon phase and then kept hitting, um, but always kind of transitioned back to the blackout racket. It was my favorite out of the two. Um, which is interesting because the Whiteout 305 is more in line with the kind of racket I'm currently using. Uh, it's also very much like a uh, Technofiber T-Fight RS 305, which I really like, or a Barbala Pure Strike, another racket that I really like. But with the Whiteout 305, I was getting a little bit more pace on my ball. I was hitting a higher, loopier shot. And I had a tendency with this racket just to overhit a smidge with it. Um, when I did connect and found my targets, I felt like I was hitting a bigger ball. I'm definitely getting some good pace, good action, good spin on my shots. Um, I really enjoyed serving. Probably my favorite shot to hit with the uh, Whiteout 305 is the serve. Get great pace and spin. Um, and I wasn't having any consistency issues or anything like that, even though I was getting more pace and spin on my serve. So that was super fun. With the Blackout 300, I felt like I was getting a really nice, powerful, easy response from the racket. I could rally all day with it without getting tired. Very, very forgiving. I put this one more in the realm of something like a pure drive um, where you can just kind of sit back, relax, or if you want to step in and rip a big ground stroke, it's got all that power and spin potential there for you to do so. It also reminded me a lot of the old Technofiber T-Flash power stub that I used to use back in the day. And I've had a lot of fun with that racket. It was a 300 gram racket as well. And um, like that one, I felt like I could get the ball up and over the net very quickly. I was rolling angles well with this racket. I've had a lot of fun putting shots away. I didn't feel like I was hitting quite as precisely with this Blackout 300, but I was definitely hitting a bigger ball. So really enjoyed the powerful, forgiving response of that. And are both really nice rackets. Um, I really like them both strung up with Hyper-G. I'm a big fan of that Selenko string, and I thought it worked great in both of these models. I'm a big fan of Selenko strings already, so I was excited to see what these two rackets had to offer. And if you are also a Selenko fan, I have a feeling you really like to get dialed in and precise with your gear, and you spend a lot of time on the court. So when I started this play test, I started with the blackout and found it really easy to swing. Very similar to something like a pure drive, easy power, really easy access to spin. I felt like my launch angle was a bit higher than what I get with some of my other rackets that I hit more often. Um, really good on serves and stable at the net. And when I went into the whiteout, I really appreciated the feel from this racket. It was noticeably different than the blackout to me. A little more comfortable, maybe a little bit more muted, and I felt better connected to the ball. So could be a little bit of a smaller head size or whatnot, but it reminded me a lot of a blade or even a pure strike. So for my game, that meshed a lot better. I had great access to precision and I still could hit out and hit big and step up and dictate points, hit first strike tennis the way that I like to play. Um, this is just a first look, so I am very interested in continuing my play test and getting dialed in with these rackets. I think players out there who are not dialed in with their current racket of choice and are still searching for the best one out there, you should seriously give these Selenko rackets a choice. And I have to say, we loved play testing them with Selenko string. These ones have Hyper G strung at 52 pounds. We also are testing them with Selenko Confidential at 52 pounds as well. Keep an eye out for when you can demo and get these rackets in your hands at tenniswarehouse.com.